allow me to throw in one question. You have two Casey transfers. I think you have five walk ons in spring camp. Any of those guys stepping up so far for you? Well, Kyle Murphy has pushed his way to where he's rotating with the ones and starting with that defensive end right now. Uh, as we speak, that could change again uh, after next Saturday, we have 75 plays. But he's shown that the one thing is tough to replace is that experience. And he's had experience at the top junior college conference, maybe in the country, uh, and, and played very well at that level. And he's transferring it to where we are right now. So we've been extremely happy with him. AJ Caviglia, uh, I think as he gets more comfortable, a linebacker is a little more difficult transition because. Uh, the coverage aspect, the terminology aspect affects him a lot more than it does the defensive lineman. And I think as he gets more comfortable, I think he's proven he's physical enough to give us some depth at linebacker. And I think that that's really what we're looking for out of him. I think that we're com very comfortable with uh, Kenny Jackson and uh, Marty Muhammad at the, as the two inside guys. And, uh, there's three right now at the Will Linebacker. It's a lot like the X position. A position maybe that was in question coming into the year, but Quentin Greenlaw, Max Schultz, and uh, Johnny Millard have all played extremely well at the Will Linebacker position. So I think we've improved our depth there as well. Hey, Goats, I know you've mentioned some names already, but as far as any people who surprised you open your eyes uh, so far in camp, that maybe you weren't expecting such great things, but who have to move them so far. Well, I think there's a couple of guys, but I think Kellen Moriarty would be one at X. I think he's doing some things and did some things from the physical part of practice that probably I was most impressed with and I, I did, it showed that he could do some things. Corbin Boaz has moved to offensive line where he can use his athleticism and his quickness and the explosiveness that maybe he has from track rather than having to be 280 pounds as an offensive lineman has shown that he can do some things that tackle. He has a lot to learn. Uh, but his athleticism, I think, is showing that uh, he could be a pretty good player. Um, I really believe that uh, if he went to the defense side of the ball, he's been in the program for a while, but Angel Morales has done a tremendous job at both corner and safety and gotten himself maybe back in the mix because when we arrived here, we had anticipated him giving us some opportunity at safety and uh, for whatever reason, he got slowed by a couple injuries last year and some other things, but he has really stepped up his play. I think Darrell Williams is continuing, continuing to improve and has opened some eyes and, at the corner position because of the opportunity he's getting more than, than anything else. And uh, I really think some of the young players are starting to progress. You know, and it's good to have Gavin Cooper out there at full speed because uh, his speed and quickness on the football field really makes us a faster defense. The young man can run, and he can rush the quarterback, and that's going to be a tremendous asset on those third down issues that we had here. You mentioned how well Andre played on, on Saturday. As far as the way you look at your the top two quarterbacks, still neck and neck, or I mean, yeah, and the largely, you know, it's largely neck and neck because they are so different that it really gets down to some you know, to what they do best and how that allows us to be a better football team. And in Andre's case, really what has to happen is he needs to become more consistent. Uh, you know, he can show flashes of brilliance. And I'm, uh, the, the people who were at the scrimmage on Saturday, they went, wow, look at this. It was unbelievable. But if you watched his maybe one of his other periods earlier in the day, it wasn't too good. You know, and I think that that's the issue that we have with Andre is he's got to be able to transfer from drill to drill and play to play in order for him to be effective. And in Tony's case, I think Tony's working real hard at the physical parts of the game that he knows he needs to improve, most of which have to do with when he has the ball in his hands. We don't expect him to be Andre Gratis. We expect him to be Tony Smith, but it may be a little tougher, more physical guy that understands that seven yards is a good run by him. Great, thank you. Where do you draw that line where he needs to be consistent to get better, but he's not getting playing time to be consistent to get better? How do you find that mix, with, especially quarterback? Well, he's getting, I mean, really, he's getting what he needs to do. He's probably getting probably between 50 to 60 repetitions at the triple option part of the read part of the game per day, even as he is now. And probably Tony is as well, and then some of the other quarterbacks go down probably drastically from that number. But the, the opportunity for him to get the repetitions he needs to show that he can be consistent, he's getting. And he needs to demonstrate it in the 11-on-11 11 11 sessions uh, that we do have, which are triple option oriented, and then transfer that into the team statements we have where we mix things up.